<laughs> yeah, next topic. Next topic. So speaking of of talent, WWE and AEW, our guy, Mustafa Ali, uh, took his first set of bookings uh, after being released from WWE. Uh, and he cut his first promo and he stated, every upper management that I have ever worked for in this industry has told me my face has told me to my face that no one will ever cheer for someone named Mustafa Ali. And then that just went into just people chanting for him. And then it's like, they started chanting F them. And then he was like, no, better than F them, show them. Um, So I think I wanted to ask this. Do you believe, number one, do you believe that? And number two, do you believe that Mustafa Ali has the potential to be a breakout star on the independent wrestling circuit. Um, I don't know. I always liked Mustafa Ali, and I feel like as long as I known him off of WWE, he was very much over instantly, mm-hmm. especially with the kids, because like he has like this very interesting entrance with the light up and stuff like that. Um, mm-hmm. And people were buying his merch and stuff like that. He's very he he wrestles very baby face. Like, I want to say when he was being a baby face on screen, he was definitely beloved. Um, I loved him. I think he's a fantastic wrestler. I think he's well-spoken. Um, and it's so, like, I, I believe him when he says that upper management probably has said that. I could imagine a white male in a suit um, relaying this information. But it's just so odd when I think about it because, while, yes, wrestling is, like, a white male-dominated sport, like, we watched in previous times wrestlers of, like, ethnic races, you know, um, minorities, like, get over. And the first thing that comes to my mind or two is thinking of Eddie Guerrero or Rey Mysterio. You know what Mm -hmm. I mean? Like, so the idea that, like, they got over very well, um, it's a little bit shocking to probably hear from management that they wouldn't invite the idea of other minorities getting over. Um, Mm -hmm. I know the obvious reason why we're not going to say that here, but (laughs) I think he's fantastic. Um, And I think that he is just like a bright light that will just light up any room, any space that he's in, because I feel like the fans know what he's capable of, but that he's constantly like, either getting the short end of the stick or not being featured enough. And one thing I love and appreciate about Mustafa is that he knew he was in some pretty shitty angles, but any opportunity he had, he took that shit and ran with it. And he tried Mm -hmm. to make it the best possible fucking thing. Um, Down to how bad retribution was. He just went for it and he tried to make it the best possible thing. And I was even kind of interested in spite of like the production of it being really lame and corny i was still interested when he at least spoke um Mm -hmm. and he has a very powerful voice i feel like for some reason a lot of people just look up to him um i don't like look like him but i i I love the idea that he's proud of who he is and Mm -hmm. he's so committed to making like this impact um maybe like as we said in like previous 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 shows before um that Paul Heyman quote about how he's been placed here to maybe not be the first uh, brown person to take off in the E, but he's going to be the reason why maybe others want to step up to the plate and eventually they're going to have that opportunity. I feel like he's going to do it and it's just not going to be in the E. And I feel like he could work his way up into being on another televised um, big show, whether it mm-hmm. is um, – AEW or he goes over to Japan or something like there's so much you could do with this man because he'll he'll take any gimmick you give to him and make it work a b he's a phenomenal wrestler um did he ever have a title in the e I can't remember I don't think so right I don't, oh, also I a don't think so title I don't think so I haven't seen I was, him with that I yet. immediately thought about the cruiserweight title but I don't think Same. he won that yeah I don't even think he won that but he's like championship material. Like we watched him lead a faction. Um, I mean, mm-hmm. he lost he lost a few title matches, but he he carries like the energy of a champion and a main of adventure. A yes, and he's so humble. I love listening to his whole speech because he was thanking the person that he 
wrestled with, and he was saying, I wrestled with AJ Styles, I wrestled with Rey Mysterio, I wrestled with this person, this person, this person, and you're just as great as them. I love his energy because I also feel it in my heart as a fan watching him through the screen that he wants mm-hmm. to uplift everyone around him. It's not just about him and a mission just for him personally. He wants to see everyone eat. So I think it's a beautiful thing. I think he's a beautiful person. I think wherever he goes – he'll be happy and he'll make an impact. And he's definitely, this is not going to be the last we're going to see of him. He's definitely going to be back on screen. I feel like he would work really well in new Japan. The more I think about it, like where he could be doing the same thing that Dolph Ziggler is doing and it would just yeah. fit like a glove. But I want to hear your take Jordan. I can see, I can see Mustafa Ali doing well in new Japan. I also see him doing well in TNA. Um, but I'm going to start by saying that I'm rooting for him. Like, I feel like he, is under an unfortunate plight because I feel like the Islamophobia in America got turned up to 100 after 9-11. And because of that, it affected so many artists, entertainers, athletes, even outside of the wrestling space. And, And Ali being a brown person, it naturally affected him. And I feel like that definitely was a barrier, one of the reasons why they, you know, he didn't get over in the E, but I do feel like, like you said, he's just a genuine, humble person. And he wants to uplift everyone around him. I feel like if Ali is Ali, I think that he's going to be doing some amazing things this year between um, stuff like in on the Indies, but I could definitely see him popping up in TNA. I could definitely see him making a couple appearances in AEW, but I just, I really want him to just be him. And to just give for him to be given a chance, the chances that he deserves, because I feel like he can be an X division champion in TNA. I feel like he can be an intercontinental, an international champion in in AEW or continental champion in AEW. I feel like there's so many opportunities and so many spaces for him, but I just, I really feel like there just needs to be the mindset of just letting him cook. Because I feel like when he's left to his own devices, he does really, really well. So I think that's really my only thing with him. And, I, and I'm and i just rooting for him. And I want him to do incredibly well. But I want to know how everybody else is feeling about Mustafa Ali. Do you think he's going to break out on the independent scene? But we are going to move on. 